Here's what you'll need. Dark eyebrow pencil, a flat eyeliner brush or eyeshadow brush, a spoolie, eyebrow comb brush, concealer, and Q-tips. I'm gonna start with some fresh, clean brows. I'm gonna use the comb brush to brush them upwards and create that arch and set a foundation before you begin to pencil them in. This is really helpful for when you're tracing your own eyebrow before creating more definition for it. And you wanna make sure any sparse hairs underneath the eyebrow and on top of the eyebrow are taken care of beforehand to ensure that your eyebrows are neat in the end. Next, you're gonna use that handy dandy eyebrow pencil and begin to trace the under portion of your brow. And you're not gonna start at the very frontal part. You're gonna leave a little of that untouched to be shaded later for a more natural look. You'll see what I mean. But you're just gonna trace around your eyebrow basically to give a more natural appearance instead of looking like you drew on an eyebrow, totally, like a new eyebrow. You're gonna do the same thing for the other brow. Just gonna trace underneath and follow your actual arch and probably define the tail of your brow a little more. And you're gonna do the same thing for the upper portion and probably add a little bit more height to your brows to give them some more definition. As you can see, they already look pretty natural and really cute. That is the key thing to leaving some pencil off the front. Now it's concealer time. Right before I get started with the concealer, I'm gonna take the spoolie and use some of the leftover pencil to rub it into the frontal part of the brow to create a natural fade. This is why I said to leave that part a little untouched. This will create good transition. This is honestly my favorite part of the process where you get to make it all neat and perfect. I'm gonna be using both brushes, one on each brow to show the different kind of results you get with each. The first one I'm gonna use is the eyeliner brush, and I'm gonna use a, a little bit of a darker shade and mix it with a lighter shade right there. You only need a little bit, cause it kinda, it's, it has a really good consistency, like it's really thick, so. I'm just going to dip it one more time before I apply. I'm going to start by lightly dragging the brush under my brow just to create that fresh, clean highlight as if I just got them threaded or waxed to create that nice, neat glow. This is what gives it that neatness. I'm going to drag it a little bit under that fade area that'll help make that look neat as well. And for the upper portion of my brow, I'm actually not gonna use the same shade. I'm going to use this darker shade here because I feel like that looks more natural. I don't think it would look right to have two completely bright streaks on my brows. So I'm gonna lightly drag that across the top without messing up the hairs in the brow. I'm gonna hold my hand at an angle so I can arch the tail nice and sharp. I'm gonna drag it a little bit at the front, but not completely, cause I wanna leave that fade area looking natural as my own. I'm just gonna clean up the tail area and check it out a little bit. For the second brow, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow brush. I love this one when I want nice, thick, neat brows. I'm going to use the same colors as before. I'm actually going to mix two of them. This gives that perfect, perfect finish. I'm going to dab it a little bit and drag it on an angle under my brow. Like one nice long swoop like that. And that really just sets a solid foundation for a perfect line. As you can see, it's just completely perfect. It's not quite like the other one. The other one isn't as perfect as that one. And that's why I chose to use two different brushes. I'm gonna do the same technique on the upper portion. 
You see how perfect that leaves it? So, just that difference in the brush that you use creates a difference. It's really pretty. This is the last phase of the entire process. It's the blending. So you're going to take your Q-tip and just blend the concealer into your skin under your brow. And you just kind of want to rotate it as you do that because you want to try and get it as thin as you possibly can. I know it can be very thick and tedious to do since this is very, very consistent. And you don't want to mess up your tail either when you do this. But if you keep at it for a little bit, it'll begin to fade. And that's really all you need it to do at this point because I'm going to add in an additional tip that can help eliminate the thickness that remains after blending. A quick tip, I use shea butter. Yes, I dip the Q-tip in the shea butter to help rub it off easier. I rub it into my hand just like that and I take the Q-tip and I dab it in the shea butter and I use that to not only help blend it faster, but get it nice and clear and leave a pretty shine around my eyebrow. As you can see, it takes the concealer weight, like the faded portions, very quick. And it leaves it nice and neat. I do this all the time and it helps the skin around your eyebrow prevent from being dry. And I know you've known and seen dry eyebrows. But this is the finished product. I take a spoolie, brush the hairs back, and this is it. Nice, neat, clean, shea buttery brows. I hope this was helpful to someone, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.